So today we'll look at something a little bit more advanced. What if we wanted a signal to be true on two indicators before a trade was opened? Well, we can do that. It does require stepping a little bit into some code, some Pine script on TradingView, but don't worry, it won't be anything too complicated. So let's take a look. So at first, we're going to be dealing with the two indicators, Super Trend and Bollinger Band. Let's put them on the chart. All right, so we see them here. So what we want is to buy when the price is crossing on the lower end of the Bollinger Band, but while the super trend is green, and we want vice versa for sell. So we're gonna go ahead and create a Pine Script indicator. Let's call this My Super Bollinger. We'll just leave a plot here so that we can actually save this properly. And we'll add that to the chart. And right now it won't show anything other than just literally plotting the close. And we have to fill this area with the code from the super trend and the larger band so that we can make in a strategy, send signals that's a confluence of the two. So we're gonna go ahead and super trend we're going to hover over it and click on the curly braces. That'll access the source code of that script. We'll go ahead and grab everything except the indicator line because we already have an indicator set up in our own indicator. Let me copy it all. Head over to my Super Bollinger. Click the source code curly braces. And paste it here. Just to make our lives a little bit easier. Let's comment this. Save it. And once I do, my indicator will update and my super bulger will now show a super trend. I can see that if I hide the super trend, we see that the super trend is still there. Now let's go ahead and grab our code for the bulger bands. Head into bulger bands, hover over it, source code, grab everything underneath the indicator line head back to my Super Bollinger. And at the bottom, I'll go ahead and add this code. Once I save it, my script will be updated. Another Super Bollinger band is showing on the chart. And I can see that by hiding the Bollinger band that was there originally, and I still see it there. Great, so we're done with step one. Our indicator has the code from both Super Trend and Bollinger Band. Now we want to add a few extra lines of code so that it only fires a buy signal when the Bollinger Band, the price is crossing down below the lower end of the Bollinger Band and when Super Trend is green. Let's head down to the bottom. We're going to set up trade signals and we're looking for two signals when it's a buy. I want it to sell. You can of course name these whatever you like. I'll just give you a, a quick example here. So if we inspect the super trend and we take a look at the data window, that gives us a little bit more information about what might be going on behind the scenes with a given indicator. I can see that the super trend right now has, has uh, two signals, the uptrend and the downtrend. So the downtrend is shown red right now because we are currently on this candle in the red area. And if I move my mouse over to the green area, you'll see that the super trend shows up as green on the right. So what we're looking for is those two words inside of the script, inside of the code. So let me go ahead and if I scroll up to the super trend section, I can see that there is an uptrend over here associated with the color green. So I'm fairly certain that this code over here at the beginning is what controls whether or not um, the script knows that it's green or red. So I'm gonna take this, this condition over here, direction less than zero. I'm gonna head down to my is by, and I'm gonna say if the direction is less than zero, I'm gonna assume that this is a green uptrend. And the alternative would be true if it is higher than zero, 
then we are in a downtrend. Now we want to go ahead and grab the uh, the condition for when the price crosses down below the lower end of the Bollinger Band for the bullish signal. If I take a look at the Bollinger Band on, on the right, I see that I have three plots, basis, upper, and lower. Basis being the red line in the middle and upper and lower being the upper lower edges of the Bollinger Band. So I'm going to grab lower. Let's go find lower within the code. And there it is. So I have the, I have the lower here. Here's the variable lower. So I want to say when super trend is green, which is what this is here, direction less than zero, and when the price crosses under. So there is a function in TradingView that um, allows you to determine if one price is crossing another, in this case, crossing under another. I can hover over the function in order to get more information about it, or I can command click it in order to open up the documentation in order to read more about how this actually works. So I'm going to go ahead and say when the close crosses the lower end, I want that to be a buy. And I'm going to do the opposite for sell. Now that those two lines are added in, I need to create alerts so that I can tie my trade signals to these alerts. The function for that is alert condition. I'm going to say when it's a buy, go ahead and buy. And when it's a sell, go ahead and sell. I save that, my indicator updates. And now if I were to right click on the chart and click add alert, and I choose my indicator inside of the conditions, I will see that I have two conditions over here, buy and sell that are now available to me, in addition to the ones that were already there as part of the script for the super trend. Now that I'm ready to set up the alert, I have to make sure that the signal is sent to the right URL. So on my notifications panel, I'm going to go ahead and I need to grab the URL for the strategy. So head over to Traders Post, click on Strategies, View, and grab the webhook URL associated with the strategy. Head back over to Trading View, click on webhook URL, paste the URL. And in my settings, I need to make sure that the correct message is being sent as a JSON payload. So I can go ahead here, view the webhook to get an example of what that code might look like, or you can visit the documentation for Traders Post in order to get something more customized for your scenario. And I'm going to paste that within a message field. The ticker placeholder will be replaced with the ticker of the chart that I'm on. It'll send a buy signal at the closing price. And it's added some extra information here as to when the signal is actually sent. I want to make sure this is fired once per bar, and we'll have that be open-ended. Click Create, and now the alert is created in my alerts panel. Let's go ahead and do the same thing for the cell. Making sure that I'm replacing buy with sell, and then in my notifications, I still have the webhook URL sent to where it needs to be sent to. I click Create. And there we go, our alerts are created. Now, when the, when the price crosses below the Bollinger Band or above in the right conditions, a message will be sent to Traders Post in order to execute that trade according to the specifications of the strategy that I have in my account. Now, let's say I wanted to add a little bit extra code to see, well, what were the circumstances under which the buy and sell signals would fire, right? I want to take a look at the past a little bit and go, hey, is this set up in the way that I would expect? For that, we have to add just a little bit more code where we're going to add labels on the chart to let us know when it would have fired in the past. So I'm going to say if there's a buy, I'm going to go ahead and set up a later. Place below the bar.
And let's copy that for cell. Now when I save that, on my chart, I should see buy and sell signals that are set up when this alert would have fired. So over here, we have buy signals when the price crossed below the bottom of the Bollinger Band. Here, a sell here, a sell here, sell here, and buy, and so on. So that way, we can see exactly what would have happened historically. So this is just a quick rundown of how you can combine two indicators together in order to make a strategy that depends on confluences on multiple different conditions. If you have any questions about this process, please feel free to leave your comment down below. Thanks for watching.